The Fabled Cat Hoverboard, the hardest achievement to get inside of Pet Simulator X. Today, guys, I'm going to be showing you the best ways and methods to level up every single piece of mastery that you need to do. So this is going to include 8K methods and active methods. So if you are an active player or an 8K player, there is something for both of you in this video. So if you guys already hit the like button down below, guys, subscribe if you're new and let's get started. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Lazy and welcome back to another video on the channel, guys. Today we're back in Roblox Pet Simulator X for another video. Today, guys, we are going to be talking about the mastery system and the best methods to go ahead and get everything to level 99. You can see this is a very good system because it's going to give you free boost, free more loot bags, more money, and of course, eventually that fabled cat hoverboard with a three flame rating so of course it's gonna be the fastest hoverboard you can get inside of the game as a free to play player so we're gonna get started right now and show you guys all the methods of course if any of these helped you out be sure to leave a like button down below that would be very very appreciated so let's get started with the top row of mastery we're gonna talk about the egg mastery how the is the best way to farm this same with golden egg mastery right now at this moment so the most obvious thing of course is gonna go ahead and just open up normal and gold eggs from the starter eggs you're just you don't need that much money guys for this you don't need that much money and you just go ahead and auto hatch you know the eggs and that's all you need to do that's uh, it's it's quite simple that's the best way to uh to go ahead and level this up but there's some more efficient ways to go about it and of course if you don't have auto clicker just move your camera so your e button is above the buy three use an auto clicker it is actually allowed by roblox so just go ahead and use that instead and afk your level to 99 um you can of course always as well auto delete the pets that you do not want but i do have a different recommendation of course for this leveling process i would instead overnight on the uh what's it called the giant alien chest to get yourself a bunch of tech coins because you can use this mastery leveling as well to get yourself a huge pet this is what i did i got myself a free huge hack cat from getting myself level 99 normal eggs mastery i opened up the giant chest that spawns over here right now there we go and if you of course get this you get yourself a bunch of tech coins and you can spend those in the tech shop i I wouldn't recommend buying the golden eggs because it is way too many tokens but this one actually you can open up thousands of eggs without having any issues to be honest so just go ahead and hatch them over here and hopefully you're gonna get yourself a free huge hat so there we go guys that's the best way to get those masteries done we're gonna move into something that ties in with these masteries though and that's gonna be the mastery for converting and as well dark matter mastery so you can see this right here dark matter mastery and converting we're going to talk about these because all the gold pets are you're going to get i would recommend keep these pets because you're going to go ahead and you're going to need them anyway you can see right there in my inventory i have a bunch of these rainbow boys and you can of course get them by going to the mine over here and converting your golden pets into rainbow pets these will of course hook you up with the best experience for converting which is very very awesome and get you a bunch of rainbow pets which we are going to need in turn for the dark matter mastery which is going to be of course in the dark tech land so we're going to take our rainbow pets that we got from our converting mastery. You know, we got some experience from there. And you're going to go over to here and you're going to make the pets. And what is very awesome, if you have a bunch of rainbow pets, you can see your uh, converting time will go down to 30 minutes, which is hardly anything. And of course, you're going to need to do, uh, need to do a lot of converting. So you want to have it as low as possible because you don't want to make the same mistake as I do. And then you misclick and you have to wait a few days and a slot is filled. You want to have these 19, 20, 30 minute ones that are going to be there those are the ones that you want for that mastery so that's the best way to get yourself all of those two masteries as well these are pretty hard guys but you will get them if you get your golden x mastery to 99 you will get quite a few levels from these as well so we missed out though on the loot bag mastery this one is going to be tied in in my opinion with the chest mastery if you're going to do the same route as i do and that is of course going to be with the great alien chest 
if you're gonna get yourself a bunch of chest mastery, you will get enough loot bags to get yourself to level 99. You can see right here, I'm level 69 chest mastery, but I am level 99 loot bags because you get a bunch of loot bags from opening up this chest, so it will get you there eventually. I don't really have the most efficient way for this because you get, kind of get it passively by doing the golden egg slash uh, the, uh, the normal egg mastery in my opinion, but of course, otherwise just go ahead and open up the biggest chest you can or equip one good pack and then the rest of your team open up trash pads and go to any of the other chests and make sure that it takes around 25 to 30 seconds to break the chest at least because that's the mo the best amount of time to get yourself the loot bags. You can see once I go ahead and explode this chest, I'm going to get a bunch of loot bags from this. You can see right there. There we go. Look at all those bags just flying in and that would give me a lot bunch of mastery if I wasn't already at level 99. So that is the best way to get that going as well. And boom! Boost Mastery is the next one. This one is quite hard if you don't have a bunch of boosts like I do. You can see I have 81 double coin, uh, triple coins. I have 500 triple damage, super lucky 800 and 171 ultra luckies. You get these, of course, by opening up a bunch of chests. Again, that's why I would recommend getting the chest mastery and the loot bag mastery first before you do this one. But just pop all the boosts you can. It actually stacks. You get four times the experience compared to if you would only pop one boost if you pop all four of them. But, of course, you don't have an infinite supply of boost right now i currently do have an infinite supply because i get more triple coins and more ultra luckies than i can actually use at the moment because you see i have all the boosts running but this one is a very slow one and just pop as much boost as you can and it is gonna be very very awesome so that covers those the chest mastery i will get into a little bit more as well if you want to grind that but let's go over into the present mastery gem mastery chest mastery coin mastery Crates Mastery, End of Vault, and Saves Mastery. So, I'll be showing you guys two methods, guys. A AFK method and a more active method as well. So, for the AFK method, we're going to go over to the winter area inside of the normal world. You're going to need yourself an auto-clicker and nothing else. That's all you're going to need, guys. All you're going to need. You're going to need an auto-clicker. So, we're going to go over to this area right here around in the middle. You can, of course, use any land, but I like this land because it has quite a big variety of different chests and crates. You're going to zoom all the way in and you're going to move your mouse around the bottom part. You can see right here, it should be good. And you're going to move them around here. And if you have that locked in, you're going to use the arrow keys on your keyboard. And if you hold them down, you can see you're actually going to spin in a circle. And if you would have an auto clicker on, it's going to go ahead and it's going to click the coins, the chest, the crates, all the kind of stuff right now automatically you don't have to move your mouse your pets are just gonna do the job for you and you can see we're gonna get ourselves a bunch of mastery from just doing this but sometimes you have to adjust your camera angle a little bit so make sure that it's on the right height of course it's gonna make you very dizzy uh so i would recommend staring at the screen while doing this just do this while you are afk of course you might be thinking like do i need to hold down the arrow key all the time because you can see if i let go it stops no you don't have to what you can do is you can hold down the key then press the question mark key so with the slash on your keyboard and that open up such so opens up the chat you can see i am now not holding anything anymore and it's automatically turning and you will be opening up a bunch of free mastery right now at this moment which is very very nice so that is of course the way to do it afk but there is a better way to get yourself a certain amount of currency so we're going to talk first about the coins and the gems in my opinion just go into the shop and panning your camera down like this and then just gonna go ahead and click from left to right you're gonna get yourself a bunch of coins because this first land of course has the most coins inside of it so if you want to just get coins you just do this you can as well do the camera way so you're just going to go ahead and get ourselves a bunch of coins. So panning the camera does this as well. But of course, this is not just going to give you all the stuff. It's going to give you mainly coins. But if you're looking for just like getting coins to max, this is the best way to do it. The same for gems. If you have VIP area unlocked, this is going to be the best area for gem collecting. You can do this in the same way. Just move your mouse from left to right or do the circle motion. But this actually is a little bit slower in my opinion. But it's only going to get gems and a little bit of coins if you're standing over here. But it's still going to be the best way to level up your diamond skill in my opinion then there is another island inside a fancy island which can be hell island this is going to be good if you don't want coins because this land can only spawn crates chests 
and presence so it doesn't spawn saves though so be careful guys it doesn't spawn saves um so if you want to get yourself the vault and saves one i don't think it spawns even vault either no so it doesn't you don't get any of the mastery in here but once again you can just move your mouse from left to right and you only get these masteries which is very 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 nice if you're looking for a specific one if it's a lot lower than the other one this uh, land is the way to go i don't really have one for the vaults and saves to be honest it's just a little bit of an awkward one i think there's quite a lot of them on the heavens uh the heavens island area because you see there's quite a lot of saves and vaults near but they're just a little bit of a rare one so these ones are a little bit more annoying to level up in my opinion but if you should use the afk circle method you probably get enough eventually to get it to 99 as well which is very very awesome then you have the chest mastery as well the best way to level this out would just recommend just overnighting it but if you want to do it actively there's three chests on this land so this is the most efficient one if you want to do it fast if you have low pets but if you have high pets of course you're just going to go to the hacker portal because this land is only chest you're going to get the cells as well a bunch of tech coins from this so just go ahead and put yourself a pet on every one of these chests it's a little bit afk as well which is very nice uh but you don't have to look ever for a chest so if you're just going to go and put a pet on every chest right here you're just going to get chest mastery and chest mastery and chest mastery, which is very, very nice. So this is a area I could, would recommend as well. And uh, this area as well has some saves. But again, if you want to do the saves and stuff like that, I would just recommend going through the lands and just clicking the saves instead. There's not like a fast way, sadly, to get these. There's actually quite a few of them inside of the tech world. So maybe doing it in a tech world would be the best way to do it uh, for the saves and the crates. But, you know... It is, uh, it's quite an annoying one in my opinion. So we've covered right now the eggs, the loot bags, the boots, the gold neck, chest, converting, free gift mastery by to just get from opening the gifts. There's no way to speed this up. We just have to wait for this chest mastery. So that kind of sucks uh, for the free gift mastery. So we can really do anything with that. We showed up dark matter, should have diamond piles, coin piles, presents, crates, and vault and saves. That is just two left, guys. And these are going to be the fusing mastery and enchanting mastery. Fusing mastery, of course, is going to be just the same as the other one that we have before with the golden pets. Actually, I went a little bit too far. I uh, need to go to like forest, I think it is. Uh, no, this is upgrades a little bit further. There we go to the beach. And you're going to go ahead and we're going to fuse pets. You could use your normal pets for this because you want to fuse as many as possible. So you can see right there, I can fuse 12 pets in one go. You always want to use 12, fuse 12 because you get experience based on the amount of pets you have fused. So if you're going to fuse one, it's just going to be slow. You know, so you want to fuse 12 at a time and you're going to get yourself some fusing mastery. And that should be good. There we go. Level 5. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And then the last one is going to be enchanting mastery. This one is going to be, of course, inside of the portals area in the fancy world and this is just you know you're gonna have to go ahead and enchant some pets it is not that hard you know just gonna go hover over here you're gonna go click any pet click enchant and that's it you know you just have to wait it, it is it is quite simple there's no way to speed this up and you can just use the same pet over and over to, uh, all the time and just get your enchanting mastery to level 99. So that should cover all the masteries and the best way to do them inside of Pet Simulator X to get them to level 99. This will take a long time though. It is quite kept behind the Dark Matter mastery and as well the Free Gift mastery. This is the ones you cannot grind 24-7. You just have to wait for the Dark Matter and this one is even harder waiting because you have to wait for the Free Gift to reset every 10 to 12 hours. I forgot which one of the two it was and then you have to wait until they are all done as well but that should cover every single mastery so if you thought this was useful on your journey to get yourself the cat hoverboard hit the like button down below guys subscribe if you're new and i'll see you guys later today or tomorrow for another pet simulator x video so say guys take care love you bye thanks so much for watching and of course as well take care guys